What's up guys? Welcome to today's video. Today we're going to jump right into our hair coloring technique. We're going to be coloring a bob haircut. I'm going to be sharing with you guys a block coloring technique. The beauty of this technique is that it doesn't have to be done on a bob. It's great for toning. It's great for long hair. It's great for short hair. There's so many different um, ways that you can use this technique. But today what I want to share with you guys is how to color a bob. So formula number one that we're going to be using today is 6NWB and 7CC equal parts 10 volume. Then our mid-level formula is going to be an 8NC and 8NWB. What I'm basically doing there, the 8NC has a little bit of a brown base to it. But what I want to do is add a little extra brown. I don't want it to be super uh, copper rich, but I did want it to have that warmth in it. So that's why I chose to put those two tones together. And our third formula today is going to be a 9 NW, which is a natural warm beige tone. And then I added a little uh, like toothpaste sliver of ANC into that just to give a little hue of copper to it. But I want to keep it a nice light level nine. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to break down the sectioning. Basically, what I did was I want to start at the top. Formula number three is going to go in that paw shape uh, that's on top of the head. It's got some triangles based off of it. Then you've got formula number two in those diamond shapes. And then you've got formula number one that kind of wraps the depth around the head. So that's going to be in the back and in the sides and in the front uh, to bring depth into the hair color. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with formula number one. I'm going to start painting that right around that crown area. And I'm going to fully saturate the back of the head, just working that color in. My goal with this whole technique and what block coloring really is, it brings life and movement, depth, contrast, all that stuff to hair color. So a lot of times in the salon, what we do is when we go to tone something, we tone it with one overall color, trying to neutralize things. So what I wanted to push you guys to do is to look at toning a little bit different, start adding in these block coloring techniques to actually add a more natural feel, more natural effect to the hair color. So think about this naturally hair underneath would be a little bit deeper, a little bit darker than it would be throughout the top because naturally the sun is going to hit the hair from the outside in. So this formula kind of mimics that depth, that richness that's happening. And then in that formula two section, which we're going to get into in a little bit, um, that formula two, that's going to start to brighten it up and create a little bit of separation between the depth and the light. So what I'm doing is just fully saturating the hair. Key thing here is to make sure that you work that color back and forth, work it in. Uh, my choice of this color today is Joico Luma Shine. I love the cream uh, consistency of the color. This is their permanent hair color line. Uh, I'm working it on previously lightened hair. So understand that this color technique, we pre-lightened this uh, mannequin head. It was a level six. Um, I had Carly go in there. She did this whole blonding technique, brought it up to this level. Um, I didn't need it to be a platinum blonde or anything like that because we were going in with these copper tones. So I try to lift it to a level seven, eight solid. And then what I'm doing is I'm dropping it down to about a level six and a half on my deepest tone right here on the, on the section number one. And then throughout two and uh, three, we're using a level eight and a level nine. So if that makes sense, what we're doing is we're trying to stay in the level family, one level lower, one level lighter, but also changing up the tones a little bit, keeping that brightness on the top, depth on the bottom. So now we're going into section number two. Uh, this is formula number two, and we're just painting that through. There's a couple diamond sections, pretty simple. I know a couple questions that are gonna come up are uh, volume choices. So because I'm just depositing in this uh, hair color right now, I'm using 10 volume all the way through. So on every single level, if I was going to lift the hair, then I would obviously go up in level, uh, maybe 30 volume, maybe even 40 volume, depending on what my end result uh, or the end result that I was looking to achieve. So the other question was, how much of each color did you mix? Um, I mixed about two ounces for the bottom, and then I did an ounce for the diamonds, the number two sections, and then for number three, I did about another ounce and a half total of hair color. So you could probably simplify that, bring that those numbers down a little bit, um, try mixing less. Definitely in the salon, I would encourage you to mix less than you need because you can always mix more, but you can't put it back once you've used it and that's just wasting money. So make sure that every time you uh, you make your applications, set a pretty big standard that goes with your pricing and then mix more if you need it and then charge more if you mix more. Uh, and that should help you with those product costs moving forward. 
So now we're going into section number three, just painting it through. Uh, this is that 9NW with a dash of the 8NC. Uh, not trying to bring down the level nine, just trying to add a little bit of that copper tone to it. Uh, and then you're gonna be able to see this beautiful end result, uh, how these colors melt together. And uh, it's just a super cool technique. Now understand that you can do this technique, like I said, on any length of hair, um, just adding these shapes in, creating depth and movement. What I would really encourage you guys to do is just tag me on at Free Salon Education on Instagram. Try out different shapes on the head, uh, things that would work for your cut, for your colors. Um, you don't have to mimic, you don't have to do the paw shape, the diamonds, all of that. Be creative, have fun with it, enjoy the technique, and I can't wait to see your work. Make sure again, tag me at Free Salon Education on Instagram. Here is our end result. You can see the depth in there, that medium tone right there, and then the brightness that's sitting on top. Now we processed this uh, for a total of 30 minutes and then blew it dry. And then of course I had to stamp in a really fun fringe to go with the cut. Uh, so here is the end result, guys. I hope you guys like it. You can see that depth underneath, that blonde, the beautiful blonde uh, tone sitting on top. So many possibilities with this technique, guys. Don't just stay in the box. Do something different. Share it with me on Instagram and make sure that you join me every day at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for live interactive classes right here on YouTube. Thanks so much for watching.